Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il drew Koreans living abroad to the struggle for reunifying the country which has been divided by the U.S. imperialists. Kim Il-sung devoted heart and soul to the country's reunification. Kim Jong-il felt sorry that the president's hair turned gray with his so many worries about the country's reunification. He emphasized the pressing need for Korean reunification. He said that if the divided country was handed over to the younger generation, neither nationalists in Korea nor compatriots abroad could say that they fulfill their duty to the country and nation. With scientific insight into the swirling changes in the world situation, Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il turned adversity into blessing. They led the cause of independence to victory. The world recognized Kim Il-sung as a great man for the history of his revolutionary struggle and for the exploits he performed for the modern world and the revolution. Whenever he visited foreign countries, Kim Il-sung would say, I'm going to conduct foreign affairs to the best of my ability on behalf of comrade Kim Jong-il. All our officials must wholeheartedly support comrade Kim Jong-il. These precious words contain his expectation that the whole party, army and people would complete the Juche Corps firmly united around Kim Jong-il. On his return from a visit abroad, he said that he could visit foreign countries without worrying because comrade Kim Jong-il was back home. He said 
that the leaders of the countries he was visiting were most envious of our country because of its successful solution of the question of the revolution's successor.